Well, I, I really just want to give our players a ton of credit. I felt like in that um, the second half, we really we just stuck together. You know, we competed. It's a really um, big time environment, and I felt like um, you know we had you know nine players play today, and three of those players, actually four of those players, are experiencing that environment for the very first time. Um, so I think it just speaks a lot to to our youth and inexperience of the team. Um, you know, you can talk about it and you uh, prepare like any other opponent, and I think it's just um, it's a tough environment to play in. And I felt like uh, we got down early and um, sort of got rattled a little bit, and certainly got into foul trouble in the first half, which didn't help. Um, but yeah, I, I I felt like our players stuck together. I, I can't say enough how different um, stages these two programs are in, and. Um, the, the experience and the veteran players that um, our opponents had today and, and then our youth and inexperience. I, I like the fact that so many kids on our team got to experience that for the first time and get their feet wet and see what that feels like um, because it's really important, not only for the rest of the season, just going forward in our future. So, um, you know, I just I felt like it was a battle today. Certainly they shot the ball really well um, and, uh, you know, we had to keep changing things up on the defensive end. and. In the end, it's all about battling. It's all about um, continuing to stick together. And I, I think there were a lot of really good moments where we did that. I think for us, it's about now regrouping and um, certainly knowing we're, we're capable of playing better and uh, putting more pieces of that together. And uh, there's a whole lot of basketball left to play. Macy, obviously you had to handle point guard a lot when uh, Chris got into foul trouble. How hard was it to manipulate the top of their defense and throw some entry passes? Yeah, for sure. Um, they definitely provided quite a bit of pressure. Um, I think that's something that we work on every day, and we're just continuing to get better at that. And I think that that's something that we can learn from and grow with that. Um, Carly, you've really emerged these past few games. Um, just just um, going inside there against some um, SDSU's experienced up front court. Just how challenging was that today? Um. Well, I'm going against good posts every day on my team too. So I think it's just getting more confident in there and not being scared to look to score a ball myself when I'm inside. And then, and then and how much encouragement does Janaya provide off the bench, uh, even when she isn't playing as a coach? A ton. She's always, every time out, she's getting my attention, talking to me, as well as Pep and Natalie and all the other posts on the bench, too. So it's very helpful still having her there. And then, Macy, just, just with Grace being in foul trouble, just um, without her on the court, how, how much more challenging did that make things offensively for the team today? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, we had a bit of foul trouble, but we were really working to control what we would control. Um, I think we did a good job of staying together and getting together at those dead ball moments. So I'm just proud of us for sticking together. And then just with all the outside hype of State U, we being out the window, um, the game being over now, just this next week, how, how can the team refocus and reframe uh, to go on the road again next week? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think the environment today was, it just speaks to South Dakota as a state and their support of women's basketball, and that's so awesome to see. And now going forward, we're just going to look to learn from this and focus on our games next weekend. Carla, with the foul trouble, obviously, you know, a lot of it came on crashing the offensive boards and some of the over the back calls. I mean, you know, how, how tempting is it to go for those balls, and how, how can in the future maybe you approach that when you know that the size is going to be a disadvantage. Yeah, well, we put a big emphasis on it every day of going for the old rebounds, too. So it's something that's kind of hard to decide. Like, you're still going to go for it, but sometimes you're just not in the right position. You need to know when to back off and when they're making those calls. For either of you, I mean, obviously the game got out of hand pretty quickly. I mean, how do you, you know, what do you take from sort of the second half, and how do you keep, I guess, in it to try to maybe get some good reps, uh, you know, to go ahead for the rest of the year? Yeah, I think just um, not letting our, you know, our maybe if we didn't shoot so well, not letting that leak into our defense. And I think just really focusing on defense going forward will be good for us. Yeah, and I think staying together as a team too, like not letting the first half de like decide how we play the second half. All right, thank you, girls. Thank you. Y'all want to get back? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The offensive boards, obviously, uh, you know, they were able to get quite a few, and you know, it seems like every single time that you guys crashed in, the whistle blew. I mean, you know, how, how difficult was that sort of to get past? Uh, you know, when it seemed like it was going one way, you know, pretty much every single. Time. Yeah, well, it was something we emphasized quite a bit. You know, I I can't speak enough to um, just with 
with our inexperienced players and just with us talking about it and talking about it, it's not until you're in it where you realize that you really have to be super disciplined every time to box out. Um, but I think it's something we're learning. I think we're also at a size disadvantage for just everybody that we're playing right now. We might have one um, kid who's bigger than a, another guard on the other team. Otherwise, uh, we are. We're pretty small. And so we've got to find a way to just get gritty and get physical. Um, easier said than done, I think, especially when you, you have big guards and they're like really trying to fly to the rim. So yeah, it was definitely a piece that we, we tried to focus on. I think um, for a lot of it, you know, go back. Uh, there, I felt like there were actually a pretty good defensive um, series that we had where we guarded pretty well the whole possession or had a loose ball and kind of came up with it. Um, or they, we attempted and, and contested a really um, a good shot and then just didn't finish the possession. And that happened over and over, it felt like. So it made it really difficult for us. There was really no passing lanes at all. I mean, in terms of off-ball yeah. defense, is that the best thing you've played so far this year? Um, as far as denying the wings and things like that, I... Uh, we've seen it quite a bit, honestly. We've seen it. Um, you know, I think that that happened to us pretty early on in this season, actually. I think St. Louis was really the one to really turn up the heat on us and um, made it. You know, we our, our motion's really good when we move it side to side, and when you're denying on those wings, it makes it hard to get that reversal going. So, um, I don't know. I think the pressure was they turned it up in that way, and so it's up to us to really adjust to that and back cut and, and make an easier pass. And we just we either didn't see that or we got sped up and just made it a little bit too easy for those, some of those turnovers on the wing. All right, and then just um, how, how, how much additional pressure? I, I know it's just a game, but like the players going in, you have nine players playing, they have 13. How much additional pressure do you think that put on a young team? I don't think there was. Um, and we didn't approach it like that. I, if they did, that was um, that came from somewhere else because it wasn't talked about for us. It it really always has been about us and uh, how we prepare. And uh, we prepared this way for this opponent um, the same as we did for any others. Um, I I just can't can't speak enough. And we we have almost as many players on the left end of the bench as we do um, on our bench and ready to, actually more, than we have subs ready to go in the game. Um, so just getting bit by the injury bug really hard and people shifting roles. Like I said, you play nine kids and um, four of those kids have been, actually five, I was wrong, three freshmen really, Carl, um, Carly, Cass, and Walker, and then Nicole and Sophie are both transfers for us. So more than half of our players have never played in this rivalry game before. I, I think they they know of it. You know, they going in, I think they heard of it and certainly have seen it in other sports. First time experiencing it, right? And especially being in an away game, um, different environment. And um, tough when a team is shooting that well. And like you said, the game started off. You know, I actually was pretty happy the way we, the game first started. I did feel like I really wanted to see fearlessness. That was really our thing. And, kept talking about that. I actually feel like those first couple possessions, um, we didn't get really big and bug-eyed. We really competed. We hit a couple early shots that really helped us feel good. And then the follow trouble started and it kind of got downhill from there. So um, you hang on to those moments. Um, I just think that we will grow from this. We, we tuck it in our, in our arsenal. We got better because of it. We will continue to get better because of it. Um, and we'll keep growing. And then you talked about valuing the um, basketball just after the last week's game, uh, valuing possessions and that sort of thing, just with um, the turnover trouble there in the first half. Is that, is that something like, what, was it more so just their experience that you felt like took over a bit? I think there were a few factors for that. I think it was. I think. Uh, pressure got turned up a little bit and you've got to be able to handle the ball against pressure and then you don't really have that immediate person to pass it to on the wing to relieve some of that and so I think it was a combination of all those things and um, certainly the more times they get an offensive rebound and you get scored on it certainly feels like well now we really have to score and it feels like each possession becomes more and more important and for a while there in the first half um, I think we got a little tight with it and then um, they were really active with their hands and, and we for us to turn it over 23 times is really, really unlike us. So it's something we really focus on and uh, we've led the league for a long time in, in amount of turnovers per game. So um, that certainly has to be something that we get back at. Now one of our best ball handlers is on the bench too with foul trouble and so it all plays a factor. And just one more thing, with, with with the young team, how important is it to just coach them through the full game, yeah. even though even though the score may may be what it is, with yeah. all the time out there, like just, just to yeah. coach them through the game. I think it's really important that we keep teaching. I 
I would hope that anybody who comes in and sees a game, um, and I've, people have been telling me this, that we teach and we coach the whole game through. And it's really important when a kid subs out of the game that they get some type of feedback and some teaching and some coaching from our coaches. And we made it a point to do that because no matter what, you're always learning something. You can always make adjustments. Sometimes you don't see it the way it is on the floor and so you come and talk to a coach and they can point it out. So with two minutes, under two minutes to go, I called the timeout because I, I just didn't feel like our, our effort and our focus was there anymore. And um, it's not who we are. It, it, our culture is, is so important. And if we're gonna be the team that's tough, you know, and gets 50-50 balls and at, at the end of the day competes, no matter what the score is, which is what we talked about in a previous timeout, um, then we have to follow through with it. And there's nobody who can hold them more accountable than me. And so when I saw a couple of those possessions happening in a row, um, it was a really opportune time, I think, to make that point to really young players and um, to make sure they know that's not acceptable. That's not who we are. That's not going to help us win games in the future. And what I told them is um, just you're not going to be able to not do it now, but then turn it on later in a different game. You either do it all the time or not at all. And so there's learning. There's growing moments going on this entire season, and um, there's, there is no shortage of them today.